Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So you may have seen the party trick where you take a glass bottle, fill it most of the way up with water, and then smack the top. As you can see, it blows the bottom right out of the glass. So what happens here is we shove the glass downward so fast that the inertia from the water keeps it more or less in place. And that creates a vacuum bubble beneath the water. And then when the glass stops moving, the water slams back down into the glass creating a sharp water hammer effect, which blows the bottom of the glass right out. So this got me thinking, what if I used mercury instead of water? You see right here is 15 pounds of liquid mercury. Mercury is so much heavier than water that I would expect that if the water gets left behind, mercury will get left behind even more. And mercury has a lower vapor pressure, so the vacuum will be even harder. So theoretically, mercury should be the perfect material for this. Why don't we uh, put some mercury in the bottle and find out. Ah, it's significantly more heavy this time. So let's hold it right there. I'm gonna smack the top. That's a lot of mercury. Good thing I got it contained in this big dish. All right, here we go. Ah, I didn't even hit it that hard. Just a little tap and it just shoved the bottom right out of that bottle. Excellent. That was perfect. Did you catch it? <laughs> Rip me up my sleeve here. Shake everything off. Woo. All right, let's check that high speed. So watching this high speed, I don't really see a cavitation bubble forming at the bottom of the bottle, but I do eventually see the bottle break at the bottom. So I suspect what's happening here is the mercury is like sticking to the sides of the glass and you just can't see the cavitation bubble. But man, the splash when the mercury hits the water sure looks amazing, doesn't it? I did this into water so that the water would splash and not the mercury. Okay, so this time I have roughly the same mass of mercury as I did water. As you can see, mercury takes up a lot less space for the same mass because it's so much more dense. Let's see if we get the same effect as we had with water. Lickety spit. It shoved it right out. A lot less messy that time too. Okay, so now that we've proven that mercury does indeed blow the bottom out of the glass, much better than water does, in fact. I want to try something that I've always been told not to do. You see, I've been told that if you shake a glass bottle with mercury in it, that I could cause a cavitation bubble at the bottom and cause the mercury to shatter the glass. And I want to see if I can recreate that here. So I'm just going to vigorously shake this. Maybe not so much that it throws mercury everywhere. Let's see if I can get the mercury to break the glass. So I'm not going to hit it. I'm just going to shake it. Ready on the camera? It seemed that no matter how hard I shook it, the glass wouldn't break due to the mercury. And I think it's because when I shove it down, the mercury like kind of flows out and around and it would let air get down underneath of it. And then when the mercury slammed back down, the air would cushion it. Uh, maybe if the right conditions happened, it would break the glass, but I couldn't recreate it here today. To finish off, I'm going to break this one more time with a little bit wider shot on the high speed. So until next time, I'll see you then. So I put some more mercury in there along with a little bit of water. Let's hit this again and see what it does. Now it broke. Can you stop it? Okay, now we're done. <laughs> 